Hey friends, how's it going? Ash here, welcome back to GentSense. Hope that you're doing well. I apologize if my voice sounds weird at any point during this video. I got a little bit of a head cold. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. It's not the living death, it's a head cold. But it's cool, I feel totally fine. Absolutely no problem here. Oh. <laughs> Today I've got for you guys 10 different clone fragrances, technically 11, that the average bro out there is not going to know about, but you and me, we know about these of course. We're just going to keep this between ourselves. Because some of these are absolutely fantastic, totally worth gatekeeping. And I've also got some newer ones that just popped out here recently, popped out of the oven I guess, that you're definitely going to want to know about. Some of these are surprisingly fantastic. like. All of these are gonna be linked in the description. Feel free to check them out there and let's get started right away with this little beauty right here, which I'm trying really hard not to be childish or anything like that. And I know, I know Arabic and everything, but I'm gonna show you this up close. You tell me, you know, just what does it look like to you? Okay, let's, let's check it out. Right there, what is that? What does that look like? It's like a word. Get your mind out of the gutter. The name of this fragrance is Anakid Green Athor. It just rolls right off the tongue. Anakid Green Athor, of course, of course. That's what it says. The bottle actually, in terms of coloration and everything, reminds me vaguely of um, the Brioni bottles, like Brioni Eau de Parfum, kind of like that in terms of the coloration. Not the exact same bottle shape, but similar enough. This one is from Fragrance World, and it is a clone of Leighton Exclusive. Of course that's what it is. Of course. And this stuff is really absurdly good. I got mine from Fragrance Buy, and this is one of those ones that you spray it on, and that quality immediately is just like, whoa, how much was this again? The answer is about 31 bucks, but for 31 bucks, Right here, this is the best Leighton Exclusive clone right now. There's another one that they have that's very good as well called Mirage Absolute, spelled M-I-R-A-J, but that one is harder to find, kind of a pain in the butt, and uh, this one, super easy. Also cheaper, so I mean, that's a, that's a win-win right there. Has a little bit of like a green aspect around the fragrance, but smells absolutely Killer, very, very close to Leighton Exclusive. Good performance, great quality, and a bottle that's just fantastic. Before we hop to the next fragrance, there's a sale going on, which I also have linked in the description. It's only good for 48 hours. So if you're watching this way in the future, sorry, but the sale doesn't exist anymore. But at one point in time, it did. Like all things, it was born, it lived, and it died. Enough of that though, the sale, let's talk about it. It's a buy one, get one 25% off sale and that scales up. So if you buy one, you get one 25% off. And then if you buy another one over that, you would get another fragrance 25% off, you see? And you just, you can scale that. The code is FW25 and it's good for any fragrance world fragrance, which again, I will have linked in the description. And there's another code that you can pair up with that code. And that code is SHIPME, S-H-I-P-M-E. So any order over $100, you can use the code SHIPME for free shipping. So FW25 for the buy one, get one 25%, then SHIPME for the free shipping. And also any order that has a Fragrance World fragrance in it will get a free sample. Maybe multiple free samples, I don't know. But that sale is going on right now for 48 hours. Again, linked in the description. Let's keep moving. The next fragrance I want to talk to you guys about is another one that came out recently, and this is Fierte. At least I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that, Fierte. This is French Avenue, which is part of Fragrance World, and it has this like howling wolf on top of the cap right there. Interesting. Pretty heavy, like honestly, you could do some damage with this if you really hated somebody. And this is a clone that I feel like was a long time coming. This is Baby Cat, which still to me just feels kind of like a weird name to say. 
Because maybe somebody comes up to you who doesn't know any better and they're like, hey, what fragrance are you wearing? And you have to be like, baby cat. And they just go, oh, right, okay, bud. Take care now. Baby cat, it's called baby cat. Baby cat, this is the fragrance, baby cat. It's like a kitten, but the smoky fragrance, smoky kitten. This is another clone that is very absurdly close to the original. And it's one of those ones that's good right off the rip as soon as you spray it on. There are a couple in here I'm gonna to talk to you about later that are fantastic once they get out of the first few minutes. That happens sometimes. This is not one of those. This is one that you spray it on, good to go. Now there was another baby cat clone that I talked about, uh, I feel like his last year, uh, Niall Queen. That one's good too, this one's better. And I was actually expecting, like I said, baby cat clones to come out quicker than they did because that one came out and I was like, okay, this is the beginning, there's gonna be more. No, not really. But this is a great alternative. Really, really, really well done. And I guess there is Ishk Al Shayuk Gold from Latafa, but I think between the two, this is better. And if you've been looking for a nice alternative to that YSL baby cat, check that out. All right, next one has another interesting name. This is from uh, Merjan, Merjan, M-U-R-J-A-N, and the name of the fragrance, Gawi. I'm just nailing the pronunciations. I'm crushing it. <laughs> I'll blame it on the head cold. Merjan Gawi. And this is one of those ones where you take a look at it. You got no clue what this is a clone of. If you don't already know, great pressurized atomizer, by the way. Mmm, that's good. It's got kind of like a plastic Budicia or Boudica, the Victoria. Well, I don't care. I'm not gonna even try to pronounce that. Budicia. Boudica. This one's very fresh, versatile, clean, easy to wear, nice citrus off the top. And this should be pretty apparent what it is as soon as you spray it on if you're familiar with the fragrance it's cloning, which is Bleu de Chanel. Yep, good old BDC, one of the biggest fragrances of all time. And there are a lot of Bleu de Chanel clones out there, some better than others. Actually, some are completely terrible, awful. Whoa. This is one of the better ones. It's very easy wearing, to me leans more toward the Eau de Toilette, but a well done Blue de Chanel alternative that not many people know about. Then we've got this one with a bit of an ostentatious cap, Jasur from Latafa. Yeah, that cap is just very loud and has all kinds of different words on it. Again, loud. Let's read some here. What's this got? Bold, Destiny, Trust, victory, mm, valiant, hope. Looking at this, it's another one of those clones where you would have no clue what that is. I mean, what could this be? Nothing really to give it away. And it's a clone of Coral Fantasy. And actually, and it's another one that is real, real good. And this is one that uh, first spray it smelled good, smelled nice, but the opening wasn't quite as nice. And then after a couple weeks, it opened up. It smells much better. Mm. Now it smells fantastic right from the opening into the dry down. It's not the exact same as Coral Fantasy, but it's really close enough that nobody's gonna complain. And in the air, it smells great. And don't take me saying it's not the exact same as saying, oh, it's actually not that close at all. Oh no. It's real close. You get the apple, you get the tobacco, you get the sweetness, that little bit of warmth that it has. Big compliment puller, smells great. Amazing bang for your buck. So if you want Coral Fantasy on the cheap, get that. Now this next one I'm gonna show you, and uh, just like Jasur, when you see it, you're gonna have no clue what this could be a clone of. You're gonna be like, I got no ideas, man. Absolutely not at all. All right, ready? Ready? Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna tell you the name as well. It's not gonna help you. A Thor All Alarm Classique. Yep. Okay, you ready? That's a clone of Angel's Share. Huh? What do you mean you knew? 
Yeah, it's another one of those where you take a look at it and right away you go, huh, what could that be? <laughs> you know, Angel Share, for whatever reason, got to be the number one fragrance where the different clone houses have basically agreed, like, look, we got to make sure that when they take a look at the bottle, they know what's up, even if the name is different. And this one's a little twist. This isn't just straight up Angel Share. So this has, oh, a great atomizer, but other than that, it has an increase in incense. And it's a little more prominent off the top and through the first part of the mid. So you still have that sweetness that you would expect from an Angel Share fragrance, but you have a little additional incense wafting through. So it gives it a little bit of a different character. Now, when it heads all the way through the mid, into the dry down, you still have some of that incense lingering, but it takes on more of that sweetness that you would expect from Angel Share. Really well done, high quality all the way through. Bottle is nice and heavy, looks good, looks classy. It's an excellent fragrance all the way through, top to bottom, quality is good, bottle is good, nice and heavy. It's a, it's a great, well done Angel Share clone with a twist. And yeah, I know, Angel Share clones are a dime a dozen, but at least this does something a little bit different to help it stand out. Now we've got an R Moff. This one is Odyssey Ohm White Edition. And there are a lot of Odyssey fragrances from R Moff nowadays. This one is Stronger With You. Now you could make the argument that Stronger With You, the original, is not super expensive from discounters. So maybe you just wanna roll with that. And I wouldn't argue with that. If you said, I wanna go with the original Stronger With You because it's not that much more expensive, cool. That actually would make sense. Atomizer. It's not great. And since we're talking prices, let's get exact. So this one from Discounters for a 100 mil bottle, gonna run you about 20 bucks. Pretty cheap, pretty cheap. They also have a 200 mil size bottle and that one is 40 bucks. So I'd probably just stick with this one. Stronger with you, depending on where you look, probably about 65 to 70 for a 100 mil size bottle. So difference wise, three and a half times less roughly. Yeah, that's a good savings. And this one's a really well done Stronger with you clone, especially once you start to head into the mid. In the opening, it's not dead on, but it's close enough. What a rip roaring endorsement. It's close enough. <laughs> but it really is. Uh, the first time I sprayed it on, it was one of those ones that I was like, eh. but then I uh, came back to it and kind of like uh, one of these over here that I was talking about smells better. Oh, this one. Herp derp. So it has that freshness off the top, good sweetness, warms up as it dries down. A really, really well done clone for 20 bucks. Actually smells fantastic when you consider the price point. So if you're a big Stronger With You fan and you want Stronger With You on the cheap, check this one out. Moving on, we'll take a look at this one next. This is from Fragrance World and it's just called Soir. Soir. Even get a little tiny crystal up there on the top. Look at that, can you see that? This one, fairly simple. Like the box for this doesn't have too much going on. It's not one of those ostentatious clone fragrances as far as the presentation goes. Like I said, they only give you one little crystal. So they really reined it in with this one. And this is a clone, great atomizer once again, of MFK's Grand Soir. You see the name now? Grand Soir, Soir, Grand Soir, 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 Soir. Really nice, but I would say it's kind of like the MFK with a twist. Maybe not quite as deep as uh, the MFK, but it still has that great ambery warmth and sweetness, and it smells much more expensive than it costs. So this is gonna be one of those fall winter time choices, great during the evening, and uh, definitely one that's gonna fly under the radar. But if you're a fan of that MFK, you don't wanna spend too much money, grab that, it'll get the job done for you. It'll scratch that itch every time. That sounds weird. There is also Latafa Eternal Oud, and that one's gonna be a little bit louder than this one. This is gonna be more 
of the vanilla, amber, warm, sweet aspect of the MFK. This one is Eternal Oud. Definitely a louder bottle between the two, but this one is gonna have more of a surprise woodiness to it. A little bit punchier, a little bit more top heavy, just in terms of how it opens up, I mean. And just overall between the two, this is gonna be more of an aggressive fragrance. This one is smoother, uh, warmer, a little sweeter. So it depends on what you're after really as to which one of those is gonna work better for you. Then we got Rasasi's Brilliant Silver. That right there is a clone of Ganymede. And it is a very well done one that is extremely affordable. This is from Rasasi's basically cheaper line of clone fragrances. Not that they're bad when I say cheaper, just they're cheaper. Because Rasasi has some fragrances that are a little bit more on the high end, just as far as clone house pricing goes. And then they have a number of fragrances that are more toward the lower end. That's where this one falls in, that's where it slots in. So Rasasi, It's Essential, that's another one in this line. That one's a clone of Lomol Team. Love that one as well. This has that fizzy, minerally kind of sweet, fresh opening, just like Ganymede. I love the smell of basically any fragrance in that style, that Ganymede style. And this one is extremely, extremely well done. So if you want Ganymede on the cheap, I'd go with this one. There are some other choices out there, like Paris Corner has one that's pretty good, uh, but I think the Rasasi is a little better than that one for my own taste. And then we got one that is just my jam. I gotta rock this one, Harmony Code Absolute from Fragrance World. That is a clone of Code Absolute, which is unfortunately F's in the chat discontinued. Until they bring back like a new flanker or something in the Armani Code line that smells suspiciously like Code Absolute. And then at that point I'll be like, well, all right, fair enough. I guess that's my new favorite code. The reason I bring that up, of course, is uh, the new Armani Code Eau de Parfum smells suspiciously like Code Profumo. So Armani basically was like, okay, I got a great idea. I got a great idea, hear me out, hear me out. We're gonna discontinue Code Profumo. We're gonna kill it. And Code Absolute, we're gonna kill pretty much all of them, okay? And check this out, this is the new Code Eau de Parfum. We're gonna bring that out. We're gonna have it for a little while and we're gonna change the bottle. But here's the deal. This is where it gets tricky. When we change the bottle, we're gonna discontinue the smell of Code Eau de Parfum, but we're not gonna really tell anybody. Then we're gonna take Profumo back and just stick it into the Code Eau de Parfum bottle with the Code Eau de Parfum name. It's freaking genius. That's what they did. I want some of what they're smoking. And if you're not up to speed on like what's going on with uh, Armani Code and that whole line, what I just said, you probably didn't even follow along with it. And you're just like something, what? Yeah, that's how we all feel about what's going on with Armani and their whole bottling thing. So anyway, Code Absolute, stuff freaking rules. Harmony Code Absolute is extremely close to Code Absolute. It has a great opening, it smells fantastic, very zingy, sparkling, almost like a carbonated beverage, huge compliment puller, good performance, classy, sexy, little playful edge to it as well. I love it, I love it. So until they bring back Code Absolute, this will be my Code Absolute. Now I told you 11, right? And this is nine. So I'm gonna give you two to end it. Dumont Solario Elysium, and then Tribal Gold. And this is from Grandeur Elite. This is a clone of Lamal Elixir. This is a clone of Ormond Jane Matsubako. What do they have in common? Nothing. They were just the last two. So that's how it worked out. Yeah. Solario Elysium, by the way, is just, it, it smells basically just like Matsubako. And to be fair, a lot of Ormond Jane fragrances have some similarities where you smell them and you're like, oh, that has that in common with this and this and this and this and this. So if you've only ever smelled, for example, Ormond Man, then you could smell that and think it's Ormond Man, but it's actually Montebacco, and that's because Ormond Man kind of smells a little bit like Montebacco and some of the other ones as well. But I think it is extremely gentlemanly. It smells really contemporary as well. Easy to wear, versatile, year-round fragrance. Quality is banging on that. It is real close to the Ormond Jane. And Tribal Gold is just 
a really well done Lamal elixir alternative, which those Lamal fragrances off and on have been impossible to find for a discount. And sometimes people have been trying to just price gouge the absolute heck out of those, you know, Le Beau Le Parfum, uh, Paradise Garden, which you hate to see. I mean, price gouging is just like, no, oh, makes you want to barf. But this one is, is actually close enough to Lamal Elixir that you can get away with wearing that and telling a little fib, a little fibberoonie, and telling people, oh, yes, yeah, the new Lamal Elixir, and they're not going to call you on it. They'll be like, oh, I believe it. It's another one that gets better as time goes. You let that sit, you know, spray it out, put it on the shelf, come back to it in like two to three weeks. I know that's absurd when it comes to uh, clone fragrances, and a lot of times that sounds like horse hooey. But from time to time, I have experienced that myself, and it's one of those things where you see it with your own eyes, and at that point you go, all right, fair enough, I guess it's real, huh? But yeah, that one, spray it out a little bit, let it sit, come back to it, opening so much better, way closer at that point. You want Lamal Elixir on the cheap? That's your best bet right there. So there we go, guys. There are some fragrances that not everybody knows about, especially some of these that are a little bit newer. And all of these right here, crush it. Again, that sale is going on for 48 hours, and that's uh, FW25, and then ship me. Again, linked in the description where it'll take you right there where you can see all of the goodies. Because there's actually a, because Fragrance World is kind of like Latafa and uh, some of these others where they just have like 15 different offshoots. So you're like, I didn't even know that was Fragrance World. So check that out. Thank you guys for hanging with me. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.